in this slide we will understand how you should prepare for oracle dba interview first of all you should know what is expected out of you now that you know there are three categories of oracle dbas i would say freshers intermediate and tenured and also you know what all is expected out of the dbas you should start preparing for those expectations so first of all know what is expected and the next question is how can you know what is expected by the interviewer it's very simple read the job description remember whenever you apply for a job the job description actually defines what exactly they are expecting out of the dba or the role it's better to read the job description well and start preparing for it rather than preparing your own way that's wrong stick to the job description read it well start preparing for it next is work on concepts not commands because interviewers will always look for candidates who are very good at concepts but even if they do not remember the commands it's perfectly okay because nobody can remember all the commands and in any interview it is highly impossible that they will select a candidate who knows all the commands but who doesn't know the concepts for example if you know the data guard concepts nobody will ask you how do you start the data guard or how do you stop the data guard that is the level of knowledge you should possess or that is the level of concept understanding you should have so work on concepts not on commands some people when they try to prepare for oracle db interview what they will do is they will uh, go through all the commands they will try to mug up all the commands but that's not the way people want to know the concepts not the commands next is relate to accelerate now this is one of my favorite and this is where you can show that you have other skills for example let's take uh, somebody asks you how do you perform recovery try to relate the concepts so how do you relate the concepts is you can say that first of all i'll check what are the backup strategies on the database and let's take if it is user managed backups then i will perform the recovery as per the user managed steps if it is armen backups then i will check what type of backups are configured if it is database full backup then i can only apply archives to recover it if it is database incremental backups implemented then i will have to restore from level 0 i will have to recover using level 1 now understand in this one answer you have showed all the skills that you are good at understanding what is full backup understanding what is user managed backups your ability to restore a database in incremental level backups and this is why the people will not again question you what is full backup because you have already told them if you restore from full backup you will recover by applying archives and you cannot apply level 1 backup on full backup so that is why i say relate to accelerate if interviewer is asking you one question do not stick to that question only you say all the related things about that question and that is when the chances are more that interviewer will not ask questions on what all related things you have said and that is why let's take if someone is asking about oracle high availability or they are talking about what are oracle high availability features don't just talk about rack talk about asm talk about flashback talk about data guard and this is where you are relating things and the interviewer is also getting understanding that you are good in those areas so he won't actually ask you questions in those areas if you relate more and this is the main problem whenever people go for an interview whatever the interviewer will ask them they will only stick to that question they will try to answer that question only for example somebody will ask you that how to increase the temp table space now you can simply say that i will add a temp file and i can increase the space but that's not the answer which is expected 
you can say that first of all I will check the database if there is real requirement of increasing the temp table space was there any temp table space error occurring frequently in the alert log and based on that I will check the sessions which are identifying or which are taking more temp table space I will talk with the application team why those sessions are taking more temp table space and that is how I will try to resolve the issue rather than increasing the table space size so understand with all these related concepts that you tell the interviewer will be more impressed he won't ask you more questions again on temp table space he will directly jump into some other question so that is why whenever you try to prepare for an interview try to relate things and this relation of things will accelerate you in your interview and the final one is never say no always say I'm not sure about it for example if you have never worked on Oracle data guard don't try to create a house in the cloud if you have never worked on Oracle data guard say it openly rather than guessing the answers which are totally wrong you might have impressed the interviewer with your backup and recovery skills but then don't degrade yourself by saying something that you don't know it's better you say that I am not sure about this answer because I have never got a chance to work on Oracle Data Guard. Or you can also say that I am not sure about this question because there are senior people in my team who are taking care of Oracle Data Guard and I never got a chance to work on it. Now that is fair enough rather than you say I don't know. What is MRP? I don't know. What is RFS? I don't know. What is file server? I don't know. So you are wasting your time and the interviewer time. If in the first place itself you say that you do not have experience on Oracle Data Guard, he might shift his questions from Data Guard to some other topic. And that is where you might impress him in those topics. So it is good to be open than to fake out.